this is going to be a long one. Hello everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canilla here. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Okay, so I have so much to show you today. I have just got dressed. Um, fuzzy socks, jeggings, comfy top, no makeup. And you guys, look at my hair. Let me see if I can show you. How can I do this? I am, oh, let's try this. Look at my hair growing back. You can see all the white hair. Look, I'm obsessed. <laughs> Look how short it is. If you are new here and you don't know this, I have a six month old and um, I have suffered quite a lot with postpartum hair loss. So it's growing back anyway, but I hope you're all doing well. Um, It is, what's the time? 10 past 10. I'm only just getting dressed because Oscar didn't go down for his first nap until about 15 minutes ago because he slept until 7 this morning. Smug. Smug mum today. Um, knowing that tonight you'll probably wake up 10 times. But anyway, so he slept until 7, therefore didn't go down for his... He, he has like half an hour nap in the morning and then sleeps for about two hours sort of lunchtime and sometimes has a little nap in the afternoon for another half an hour anyway um i have just made the beds i don't know if you can tell sock fluff uh, but the upstairs needs a really good vacuuming i'll probably do that this afternoon look in here this is all i bought um oscar some fluffy socks from b&m they are amazing they are so fluffy and comfy and lovely but even though they've been washed they still let what you know what she's like attention seeking anyway so it needs a good vacuum in here i tidied up i love this this was made by one of you i still love it sally um, so I just draped it so it looks lovely, but nothing stays on the bed, don't worry. So yeah, we're going to do towels today. I think give the upstairs a quick tidy, you know, just the basic. And again, just really needs a good vacuuming. Um, you know, Alex is obsessed with Minecraft. Let me know if you have children or grandchildren who love Minecraft. He, it's his new obsession. That and Baby Yoda. You guys watched The Mandalorian by any chance? He loves Baby Yoda. So I actually got Valentine's card from Paul. That was the cover because I love Baby Yoda too. He's too cute. So Paul got me a Valentine's card with that on the front. And I, um, Alex loved it. So I cut the front and make, made it into a little frame for him. Okay, so let's go downstairs. I have so much to show you and things to discuss. Yeah. First of all, in my last video, I showed you cheese mixture with that I did with spring onions and you were all very interested. Now, that is what I call my cheese and onion mix. I can use that for um, sandwich filler or on a jacket potato. That's my favorite, but I don't like the normal onions on the cheese and onion thing. I only like onions cooked, unless it's red onion and it's on tuna mayo, but that's a different story. So I use spring onions, which are a lot tamer, and you were all interested as to why I put them in a little thing with water. And this is why, you guys, they grow back. If you did not know that, they grow back. Now, I change the water every couple of days. I keep it on my windowsill so I can see it all the time as I'm like doing the washing up or coming to the sink. And you might find, let me just let Ethel in. Shh, shh, shh. She's so noisy. 
She has been known to wake up Oscar before because she's madam. Hold on. Keep your voice down. Sorry about that. So yeah, this is just over a week's worth of growth. There you go. What you might find as well is that these, um, the white bit can go a bit mouldy. So all you do, all I did was peel a layer off and um, yeah, there you go. So you've always got spring onions ready to go. Um, but yeah, that is what I make as a cheese and onion filling, which is one of my favourite fillings. I love cheesy and onion pasties, cheese and onion potatoes, jacket potatoes, so good, or sandwich. So yeah, just wanted to let you all know that. The other thing I want to show you, let me go and get Check it. this out, you guys. Yuki Dough, if you have not heard of them, they are a company that make cookie dough. You guys, all different flavours, go and check them out. There is an actual offer for you. They sent me these for free for me to try out and share with you guys, and I'll be doing just so. I just wanted to show you. So they sent me four little pots. You got, this one is a Funfetti cake batter. So you can eat this raw, you can make them into cookies, you can make them, you can warm it up with ice cream, like cookie dough, batter with ice cream that's delicious but you can also um, incorporate it into other recipes and they actually once the order was put through for them to send me this they sent me an ebook with recipes so they send to everyone I think that ebook so it gives you ideas on what to use it for so I also got a triple chocolate fudge um hello red velvet Mm -hmm. and gooey chocolate chip you guys when I got the email um, saying would you like to try some I was like email back straight away 100% yes who does not like cookie dough I I'm sure there's people who don't but so we are going to try these out so these look these you need to keep refrigerated or in the freezer. Uh, it came in a box. And it has, this was completely frozen. Well, it was defrosting already, you know, but this keeps, keeps it nice and cool. You can recycle all the packaging and it comes with instructions, you know. It says you can bake them for eight to 10 minutes until golden. Uh, you can pop them in the microwave for 10 to 20 seconds and serve with the choice of topping. We love it with ice cream, they say. And yeah, all our packaging is 100% recyclable, which is always good. And like I said, there's a code in the description box below for you guys, if you wanna try it. I know that my, um, my goddaughter follows them on Instagram, so I asked her, have you tried them? And she said, no, but they look so, so good. So I might do that. I might, <gasps> whoops. I might send her a little surprise box because I think she would love these. But we'll try those a little bit later. I just thought, why can't I just try it? Let's try it raw. Because it says you can eat it raw. So this is the red velvet. Oh my god. That is amazing. Funfetti. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. This is the sort of thing that you buy someone when you just want to send them a little treat, especially at the moment where you can't see Let's try the triple chocolate. Oh my God. Gooey chocolate chip. You guys, those are so good. Mm. <laughs> I'll be trying those out. I might have to share it with Paul, I guess, and Alex. Mm. Yeah, but I was saying, 
those are the perfect like little gift for someone like my goddaughter who's a teenager they love that kind of stuff or if you just want to send a little something just cheer someone up yeah i'm very impressed and you guys know i make my own cookies and my own cakes I would now i promised on my last video that i was going to show you a couple very easy diys that are not really diys that anyone can make so you remember these tiles now i would love to do my whole kitchen that cost me i reckon a couple of hundred pounds which is not a lot if this is your house but as you know we're a military family here one day gone tomorrow so anyway let me show you what i used my first project just covered bottom of a wooden tray now i use this tray every day to gather all of oscar's um, feeding bits and bobs which are in our in that area there you guys know and I take that to the dining room for us. So I wanted something that could make it um, not damage the wood, basically waterproof. These turned out really, really good, really easy. This is two tile stickers. I had to cut the edges off, but they literally just go together. I think they, that looks lush, really impressive that. So it's a DIY, but it's not really. I mean, anyone can do that, right? And the other one, you guys remember the pegs, little box. Now this is quite small. I told you that I have like a normal sized one. You'd probably fit like 20, 30 pegs in here, which is not very much when you're trying to do your laundry. But anyway, all I did was this. I need to do a better job of this, but all I did is put a command tape over the pegs word and attach this wooden sort of wooden-y these are these from they're either from Amazon or the works I'll try and find them and link them below they're like little labels and I just wrote mass so basically it sits by our front door with all our clean masks so if we're going out we know we can just pick something from in here and they're clean and he keeps them corralled. I only did one side because it sort of sits against the back so no one can see the back of it. But I didn't want to damage in, in case I wanted to use it and I wanted to show you like a quick and easy idea what to do. Now, I would have actually just used um, chalk stickers. You know, I, I have loads. I love those. I have them around my house, but I've run out. I've ordered some more. That should be here today from Amazon. But so I just used that. And uh, yeah, if you do not have these, you should. I will put a link below. They're from Amazon. And you guys, they basically sit. You just pop them inside your mask. Okay, and what that does, it's hard to see. It sits in there. It stops it. Let me see if I can show you. You can breathe you guys it doesn't without it right when you <laughs> this is not pretty basically it keeps it, it keeps the mask off your face so it's like that that's not very that's very Hannibal Lecter isn't it anyway this I find really helps Paul wears a mask every day for work and he loves these um, you know it comes with uh, some little hooks here but I uh, yeah you can't you could hook your mask onto it but I don't think it works very well have a well maybe it does oh my god it does I'm such a dim look can you guys tell Anyway, I would recommend that. There was a pack of five. I gave two to a friend and we still have three. So one for me, one for Paul. Alex doesn't really have to wear masks, but we have a spare. So yeah, 
two very easy DIYs. So if you are a Mrs. Inch fan or you've been on TikTok, you, oh, there's a squirrel, there's a squirrel in my garden. You guys, oh, you can't see it, it's gone. Sorry, I was trying to show you, it's Kevin, a squirrel. But anyway, if you are a Mrs. Inch fan or you've been on TikTok, you see Scrub Daddy everywhere. And I have finally given in and bought some to try. I went all out because, as you know, I don't do things by half. Let me show you what I got. I actually got a scrub mummy, which is a dual side scrub because mummy's multitask and all that. So it's not the original scrub daddy. So here it is. It's got the um, scrub daddy rough and then a soft area. So these, if when you put with hot water, they go really soft. If it's cold water, this remains really hard. But this is quite soft actually. So anyway, so I got one of those to try. And of course I got the daddy caddy because you have to, right? But this was the thing that I thought, I like that, even without a scrub daddy. The soap daddy. Now, the ones on TikTok are white and lovely. This one's quite gary, garish, garish, garish is the word. Bright. But it was the only one I could find in the UK. Let me know if you guys have this. So, what you do, let me open it. So, I've put soap in there. What you do is you are probably going to give it a couple of pumps because it's never been used before. Oh, there we go. You can't see very well because my um, washing up powder, washing up liquid is very um, light. But it basically puts a load in there. Or you can do it like that. You press the sides. Okay. So squeeze the sides. Do I have to? So it's not squeezing from the bottom. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. I might have to troubleshoot that in Google later. But anyway, so. We are going to get this warm and see what it does. very sudsy very I would have loved this when I was pregnant because loads of bubbles you guys know bubbles are everything to me. excuse my pantry door is open but I have put the little caddy just there let me I don't know if you can see you can't really yeah it's there so all you do Boom. Okay. I like it. Right? I don't know why I've been so dead against it and it's taken me so long to get one. But I'm going to tell you more about that once I've used it quite a few times. But yeah, first impressions are good. Though, I'm not sure why this thing is not working. So I'll troubleshoot that and let you guys know. I also just got some uh, free pampers in the post when you have a baby you can sign up for all sorts of things so they've sent me two these are the pull-up pants nappy pants and they also send me a two pound voucher so if i ever want to buy some i've got a little voucher so um i'll definitely put that in my wallet my oh no i just ripped it i know it's fine um yeah just pop that in my purse so if i'm 
ever wanted to buy some but I'm going to pop these upstairs as well. Some other stuff I want to show you um, that I've been buying, this stuff that I've been buying. So I bought these from um, Patina on Etsy. Patina, she's someone I follow on um, on YouTube. She doesn't seem to be doing any more um, vlogs. I used to like her. She's Portuguese. She lives in the UK as well and I, I used to follow her and stuff. So I followed her now I follow her on Instagram. Anyway, she's opened an Etsy shop and she does these. She's just started doing these cards, like postcards. And these are photos that she took from places in um, in the UK. Look, there's the Brighton Pier um, and just like really cool photos. There you go. There. Um, so I thought these would be quite cool. They come with their envelopes so if you want to send them I thought these would be quite cool to send to different friends and family um, especially because we can't see any of them so I'll link her Etsy shop down for you I also been dying to tell you guys about what I've been using you guys know I'm a massive fan of Sensi but Sensi is so expensive and it's sometimes quite hard to find someone who um, sell Scentsy. My neighbour used to sell it, but she's moved. So, you know. Anyway, wax melts are the way to go. Excuse my hair, you guys. But I buy from this. She's a military wife as well, who's just started a, a, her own business. And her, what, the thing that I liked is that her PNP is really affordable. You're not looking at like six or seven pounds to order a load of stuff. The company name is L and A Aromas. I really, really like her, and uh, I've ordered. You can buy this. is She's just recently started doing this. is like a sample box. So in here, there's eight different smells, and she tells you on the back what everything is. But they like, obviously keep this away from kids because they look really. I don't know, yummy, if you know what I mean, but they're actually wax melts and it smells amazing. You can also buy like that. This one I haven't used yet is baby powder. Also got here Dove. Um, and this is a favorite, cranberry and orange. And they, oh, that smells so good. I really, really love that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share her with you because we're always looking for something nice and cheap. And again, if you don't know what you like, you could order a box. It's not being sponsored or anything like that. Just giving a shout out to them. Finally, um, if you guys remember in my Poundland haul, I did two give small giveaways. That is closed, you guys. That closed on the 14th. The winners have been picked. They've been contacted. I have not posted it yet. I've not had a chance. I'm hoping to do it next week, you guys, but I'll let you know once they're on there. Time way. to get some stuff done. I'm gonna put a load in the wash, but I'm also gonna make myself a coffee because, you know. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor I don't really mind all the smoke is in the bathroom I don't care at all, baby, you got my attention This baby boy. Look at this baby. This baby boy. You playing with your giraffe? Yeah. We've got to put this top on him as well, but we've got to do it in stage because he hates 
He hates getting tops on and off. He's the cutest baby. <laughs> From the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Be into myself and sit in silence Until I got a call, my friend showed up at my door. They wanted me to go out for a while. We were dancing in the dark. So one of you asked me, what do I do when it comes to plastic bags or reusable bags? Shopping bags, you know what I mean? So I quit a long time ago buying plastic bags or using them. Now. Am I guilty of going somewhere and not taking any of the bags that I have? 100%. But by and large, I try and use my own bags. And you are asking me which ones I use. So I'm sorry to say that the majority of the ones I use are ones that you can't get anymore. I bought these. It turns out I had to check it online. 2008. They were... A collaboration that Kath Kidston did with Tesco's. They cost at a time at the time three pounds fifty each. I've got tons. I probably have ten or so. <laughs> so I've got the main colour I have is this one, the design. But I also have this one, and I have some stripy ones as well. But oh yeah, here's the stripy one. There's some more in the car. These are fantastic. You can buy them on eBay. They can get quite pricey. Hold on. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. You had enough. You had enough. Come here with me, mommy. Come here. Look at me, everyone. I had enough. I don't like being left alone. I'm so cute. So as I was saying, um, these you can wash and wash and wash. I've had them since 2008. They are like new, super strong, super strong, and you can just rewash re them, which is why, I don't know if you guys know, but Ola Kylie did a collab as well with Tesco's. And I'm sure you can still get get those bags from Tesco's there. They're like Hessian or something like that. I don't like those because I can't just throw them in the washing machine. And, you know, I've tried and they lose all their shape and stuff. So it's no good. But if you can't get those, let me show you what else I have. I have this. Love this. This is by Sea Salt. You can buy them online. Um, they have shops on the high street as well. I can't remember how much this was. This is quite a big one super strong again washes really really well um so i got those i have a couple of these they're not great you know these are the ones that you fit into a little pouch and have on your in your handbag they're good if you always want to have a little bag with you awesome for the bits and bobs like that i have an ola kylie one um that i won and it says, books are my bag. You guys know I love all of Kylie. So there you go. That stem, have that. I also have, there's another Tesco's one. I have another one that I got in Avocar. This is in Ireland. I actually went Avocar. I hope I'm saying it right. I'm sure it is Avocar. Um, they have, a wool shop right you can buy really expensive blankets and I actually bought Alex a teddy there they're in the Republic though they do have a shop in Belfast which I've been to as well so I lived in Northern Ireland 
and that's where I had where I had Alex um, and I bought this there but it's basically those kind of canvas bags and what I find is they have to be um, washable durable I have tons of them in the boot of my car these are just some from the last shop that I haven't taken back to the car so I hope that answers your question I can't believe I went on for four minutes and 22 about shopping bags got some gammon in the slow cooker for dinner tonight mama can you say mama not dada mama should we go and play on your mat yeah hey you pretty boy you playing here by large he sits by himself i keep like he's sitting against my leg and if he tends to fall over he falls onto the cushion so but i'm here with him anyway and we just go through a box of toys we were playing this morning so we've got some other toys out and we just try and keep him interested eh <laughs> I just found something else that I also have to tell you about. TikTok made me buy this. Basically, no, it's falling over. Hold on. Okay, so this is a teething toy. You basically turn this bit. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. You turn it upside down like so. And then you put your little baby's hand around the base and you flip this. Back. Obviously, my hand doesn't fit in there but your little baby's hand will fit under so it traps his fingers without trapping his fingers you know what i mean um it keeps him his hand a little bit more steady so they can chew on this bit this bit here if um oscar wants to do it in a minute i'll show you what i mean just wanted to show you how i do all the lunch bits for oscar so on my bookshelf, I get my tray, bring it over, put his bottle water, bottle of water, sorry, that is um, boiled cooled water for him. And then I go in here. Another moment he eats not very much. So I'll put like some rice cakes, probably take these melts as well. I can vary. I can take some of this or some of these wafers. He's got quite a few there. And then I take a spoon. Got those really cute ones. Take one of those. Fresh pouch from there. If not, if I already have one open, I go in the fridge and I pick it up. If I also have, I have some broccoli here that's been cooked it's very mushy mushy i put that on there as well and then in here i have all these different bibs so i get him depends on how messy this is going to get but i have these like um full arms you know so i'll just pop i'm making a right mess here i'll just pop one of those on there as well and super important i have these I've only got one there. Old microfiber. This one is not microfiber, but they're usually microfiber cloth that I don't use anymore. Um, but they're still really soft. I get one of these wet and put them on here. And that will be my cleaning rag to keep them clean. And then I can carry everything to the table in one go. So this week was actually my birthday. I turned 45 on Tuesday and... I asked Paul to give me cash, give me cash so when this whole pandemic thing is over, I can do as I please with the money. But I wanted to show you a couple of things. My friend Jody got me some flowers. Love the tulips. They just cheer up everything. My friend Trina got me some Godiva chocolates. There's only three left. And...
Do you mind I'm talking? <laughs> and then my friend Anna, who's an artist, made me one of her beautiful pictures. You probably have seen, sorry about the background noise. You've seen these before in my house. I have three or four different ones. I will link her below. Um, so she sent me that, which is, I love it. And then this hyacinth is actually one of my favorite bulb flowers, if that makes sense. My friend Jill gave me this. The pot I already had. You guys recognize that from B&M. There's um, another one in there. So Jill made me that. She also made me a birthday cake, which is gone. And she also gave me, actually, a Orla Kylie book, which I've got in here. Not book, like... um. Um, so like it could be a journal it's just empty you know in the guys know what I mean I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for I might use it for recipes yeah so I was very lucky but I had an awful day you guys I was so sick with either a cold or hay fever I'm still not quite sure what the hell that was but I could barely keep my eyes open like that my nose still recovering so flaky it was so awful i had a banging headache paul was at work and i had the two wait why are you being so loud you you like your voice you was so stinking cute but i had them the kids with me so it was not my best birthday but yeah i'm 45 you guys and that is where i'm gonna end this video you guys i hope you have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you next week bye won't stop for traffic lights